Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your HTML emails directly from Figma into your Klaviyo email templates uh, directory. Um, so we're going to be doing this by using a plugin called Emailify and you can install that by just going to the Figma community, searching for the word Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y and under the plugins tab you'll see Emailify pop up and all you need to do is click on the install button on the right hand side and then you can jump back into your Figma file. Um, so to run the plugin, you can just right click anywhere, go down to plugins and then click on Emailify and that'll run the plugin that we just installed. So this plugin assumes that you've already designed an email using the Emailify uh, plugin. So if you haven't done that before, we have another tutorial on that on our YouTube channel that's worth checking out. Um, so if you want to do that first and then come back, uh, that's one option, but this video just assumes you've already got one ready to go uh, that we can export. So to export this email, we're just going to go ahead and click on the export button in the plugins header. So go ahead and click on export and that's just going to bring up the list of our emails and the plugin export options. Um, so by default, it'll set it to HTML. So this will basically uh, download a package of HTML files and uh, assets directly to your computer. Um, but for today, we want to actually export it out to Klaviyo automatically. So to do that, we just click on this little drop down, and instead of downloading to our computer, we want to actually go to the upload to a platform uh, grouping down here. And today we're going to be using Klaviyo. So I'm just going to click on the Klaviyo option. And you'll notice that's just changed uh, the options down here. So it's giving us a little link to uh, get our private API key. So if we go ahead and click on that uh, link, it'll open up our API key page in the browser. Um, if you're not already logged into your Klaviyo account, you'll have to do that. Um, but once you're logged in and you go to this page, you'll be able to generate your API key that we're gonna be using. So once you're on this page, on your Klaviyo API key page, all you need to do is go ahead and click on the create private API key button down here in the bottom right. So I'm gonna click on that. Uh, that's just created a brand new private key for me, so I can uh, label that. So I'm just going to say Emailify uh, Figma plugin, just so we can reference what it is at a later date. So I'll just save that label. And the private API key is just sitting behind this little icon here. So if you click on that icon, it'll reveal your private key. So all you need to do is go ahead and copy that. So just highlight um, the private key, copy it with Command C or Control C if you're on Windows. And then now that you've got the key, you can jump back into Figma and click on this private key uh, API input box here in the plugin. So I've clicked on that and now I'm just going to paste it with uh, Command V or Control V if you're on Windows. And you can see here it's just pasted in our brand new Klaviyo API key. Um, so that's perfect. That's exactly what we, we need uh, to authenticate the, the upload. And then you just want to make sure you've got your subject line filled out and your pre-header text if you want to include that as well. Um, so in my case, I'm, I'm happy with all this. My email is ready to go. So now all we need to do is click on the Upload to Klaviyo button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And this is just going to generate all the HTML automatically for us. Uh, it's going to export all of our image assets, uh, upload them online um, so they're all hosted. And then it's going to send that template directly into Klaviyo. Uh, so it's just told us that our Klaviyo template has been uploaded. Um, so we can jump into this Klaviyo templates page. So if we click on that and open up another browser window, uh, that's going to link us to this page here, which is the Klaviyo email templates list. So I'm just going to refresh that page. And you can see here it's just now uh, created a brand new template with uh, the email that we just uploaded. So you can see here we've got our preview. Um, I can jump into that by clicking on the title. And that's going to load up our uh, template. So you can see here it's automatically uploaded all of the HTML. This is production ready HTML uh, that's been uploaded and generated from the Emailify Figma plugin that we just uploaded a moment ago. So that's all in there. It's all been inlined so you don't have to worry about you know, running it through any crazy pre-processes or anything like that to get your CSS in there. It takes care of all of that for you. And you can preview it visually just by clicking on the preview tab up here. And that's gonna let you actually scroll through the email uh, visually and see what it looks like when, it, when it's rendered. Um, so you can see here, this is all HTML. This is all, all of our content as we'd expect. 
uh, and that's it. That's that's everything we uh, we designed and uploaded in Figma, all looking really nice. Um, you can go ahead and preview that email. So if you wanted to um, send a test email to yourself, you can go ahead and do that, and and that'll work just fine. Uh, if you've already used Clavio before, you're probably aware of all the other things you can do now that you do have the email template um, set up. But uh, but this this is really taking care of that extra step that you normally have to go through, uh, which is manually creating templates, uh, which can be a little bit annoying. So for, for example, you'd normally click on the create template button here, go through this kind of process, and then you have to manually zip up your images and make sure they're all zipped up. Then you have to manually upload your HTML file and make sure that's kind of pointing to all the right places. And it's just a bit of a headache. So this integration will make it much easier if you're a regular Clavio user and you want to get those emails um, out of Figma, out of the Emailify plugin uh, as quickly as possible directly into your Figma, uh, sorry, your Clavio templates list. So this integration lets you do that really easily. And um, I know we only did one email in this case, but if you have multiple emails, um, you can use the same feature and it will loop through those and upload them one by one. And you can, you can upload a, a bunch of them at the same time if you need to do that as well. So that should save uh, even more time if you've got a bunch more that you need to upload. Um, the other thing worth being mindful of is uh, each time you do this, it will create a new uh, email template. So it won't override uh, the existing templates in your Clavio templates page. And that's just because you can actually edit the templates inside of Clavio. So if someone's gone ahead and edited that template and then you've you know, re-exported it or re-uploaded it from the Figma plugin, um, that's going to wipe out all of your edits and override it. So by default, the plugin just creates a new version uh, in your email templates each time. So you can kind of keep track of uh, those versions and you know delete these ones if you don't need them anymore or whatever. So um, that's just something to be mindful of. But um, yeah, hopefully if you're a Clavio user and you've been wanting to make this uh, process going from Figma into Clavio email templates a bit more seamless, as I know a lot of you have been uh, requesting and asking for in the comments on the previous video, um, then this is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, this is a, it's pretty much as direct as you can get directly from the plugin, uh, Figma plugin straight into Clavio. So um, that should help speed up your workflow a little bit. Cool, so that's the whole tutorial. Um, it's, it's fairly straightforward. All you really need is your private key uh, from your account and you're ready to go. Just make sure you've got that Clavio option selected and uh, you can just upload as many emails as, as you want. So. That's, that's pretty much it. That's the whole tutorial. And um, thank you as always for watching. We'll be back soon with um, some more tutorials just like this one. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you then. Stay tuned.